Are home warranties a scam? Hey, my name is Johnny Jennings. I'm the team lead of the Made For More team here in Roseville, California, and we're gonna jump into home warranties. So before we jump into that, let's discuss homeowner's insurance because it's not the same thing. They often get you know, confused. People think that they are the same thing and they are not. So home insurance covers catastrophic failures like fire, flood, earthquake, you know, a tree totally coming in and taking out the house. Catastrophic events are what you need homeowner's insurance for. If you're getting a loan on your property, if, you, if you're buying the home with a loan, then you will not even be able to close on the property unless you have proof of homeowner's insurance in place. So now that that's, you know, homeowner's insurance is for catastrophic failures, what are home warranties for? They are for the smaller systems in the home, the more like direct things, so think like microwave, ceiling fans, dishwasher, AC, um, heater, water heaters, things like that. And so how that works is you pay for the policy, up front, it's typically a few hundred bucks, and then at closing, and that covers you for the year. And then if you want to continue to renew it, you continue to renew it, you know, year after year after year. So once you have this home warranty policy in place, make sure you read the fine print and make sure you know what it covers. You have to pay extra if you want to get AC coverage. It's horrible when the AC goes out, it's the middle of July, you think, oh, that's no problem, I'll call the warranty company, we'll get it fixed, no problem. And then you realize, shoot, I did not pay for um, AC coverage. So make sure you know what they cover and what they don't cover. But when a home warranty is incredible is when it covers something, you call them out, it's like $70 call out fee. And then they come out, fix the ins issue, and it costs nothing more than your call out fee. Call out fees are typically somewhere between $60 and $70. Um, we've used them in the past on our, on our properties. You can buy them if you're getting a rental property. You can buy them if you're owner occupied. They're, they're a good little tool to have. Um, the only time that People typically don't want home warranties is when they have massive amounts of cash reserves because then they can self-insure. Because think about it, these companies, these insurance companies are only around, they're, they, they're, they only continue to exist if they make a profit. And the only way they make a profit is if the premiums are more expensive than um, coming out and fixing the property, right? So if those premiums make them a profit each and every year, and that's how they stay in business. So if you have the cash reserves, odds are you won't need that you know, $500, $600 um, annual premium. Um, but in case you're lean on cash and you just wanna sleep easy at night knowing, hey, worst case scenario at 70 bucks, I suggest you get a home warranty company. If you have any questions, reach out to the team. We're always here to help. Have a fantastic day.